Yeah, so we're here in Okiyama. Feels like a home track for me in the virtual world. I've raced here so many times online. It's nice to finally be here in reality and it's great to have Mick on board with the team this weekend. He brings a lot of useful information and being a Mercedes factory driver and we can implement a lot of his information into the setup changes we've made uh, before we hit the track tomorrow for the race. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the bar to them. Got my heart, no margin. From the to the floor, to the couch. Might wait, the neighbors up. Getting up for race one, mate. We got a tough start, I think. Here we uh, ended up a little bit further back than we wanted. Missed the target a little with our run plan in qualifying. We learned a lot from it and also made some further changes to the setup for the race. Look at them real. Plastic bars when I copy my steel, copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real, no cap, I'm real. The plastic bars when I copy my steel. Yeah. Here comes the start, who's it gonna be? And there's always gonna be a bit of contact down into turbo, such a tricky corner, but I think yeah, Boo got pushed uh, pretty pretty heavily into one, uh, which pushed him into the uh, into the Lamborghini. So a bit of damage to, to both cars. There. And because Grenier does just hold on to fourth place, so that is uh, good for him and even better for his teammate Prince Abu Bakr Ibrahim. We had a red flag and restart again, and uh, yeah, it was a quite a messy one for us today. We're here to support the Car 88 for their championship. It's B4. We'll take that and uh, we'll keep on pushing and. Hopefully it'll be a better day for tomorrow. Third in the championship is Prince Abu Bakar Ibrahim, who's sharing this week a weekend with Nicole Grenier. Four points down on the championship lead. Down in seventh position, I think this has a good chance for podium and a very good chance of going to the final round at Sepang as the championship leader. With an hour to go, off we blast. It looks though Alessio picariello has got the job done right in the heat of the battle. Prince Abu back over him, got super, super close to tell the who's gone into Fufsax Porsche, which is slightly being held up by Jeffrey Lee. Jeffrey has every right to be there and all along. But uh, the 88 car has tumbled down to 19th place overall. Let's hope Prince Abu Bakr Ibrahim, who's driven so well this season, can get back going and pick up some points at least for his challenge. Clearly the rear bodywork rubbing on that right rear tyre. Will that go pop before the end of the race? It's the mass 88 has come in. Oh, such pain. Prince Abu Bakr Ibrahim was enjoying his race and a great run there, but uh, the, the rear contact, the bodywork pushed onto tyre. Any hope of points out of the window. Yeah, it's not the ideal result for, for today's event. Unfortunately, uh, Boo got taken out by uh, one of the opposition, which are uh, in contention for the championship. So we go to Sepang now with the look that we've just got to win. Uh, that's the only thing we can do now, and, and hopefully that's enough. All things going well, we, we could still pull it off, but it's, uh, yeah, we're on the back foot a little bit. Yeah, it's been a tough weekend for us here in Okiyama. You know, in the worst case scenario, if, as long as you can learn something from it, then there's always a positive to take out of it. So um, we gave it our best crack, but unfortunately we just came up a little short this weekend. So um, most importantly, we are one as a team, and we'll keep on pushing it as a team.